Well, my first association when you say the end of the world, it is culturally for me, is does any of you know this quite terrifying song? But I think it's if there ever was a symptom of where we are today, this is it. This mega, mega hit Gangnam style. What interests me here is uh, how it functions. So I even then found a text on this hit, Gangnam Style, where they say that's how it effectively functions. It's not that you like it, but practically everyone tells me the same. When you first hear it, you find it disgusting, but in a weird way, pleasurably disgusting. It's not just this that makes it ideology. It's precisely this more of making fun of yourself, ironic distance, and so on and so on. It's the same as my old thesis of that stupid movie, uh, Kung Fu Panda, where I claim it's exemplary of ideology today. Why? Because I had the misfortune of seeing it four or five times with the same above-mentioned son, where uh, for, uh, uh, like, on the one hand, the movie mobilizes all this orientalist mythology, you know, uh, 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 kung Fu, Destiny, Warrior, Chosen, whatever, the one. And at the same time, it makes fun of its own ideology all the time. In spite of, or I would rather have said precisely because of, all this self-mocking, it works. It's something that was done in an intelligent way. I don't like too much the film, but this aspect I like. When something is so disgusting that fascinates you and you say, oh, it's horrible, let's take a look. Where are we moving? What does this mean?